Hey everyone, what's going on? Recently, we got a story in the mainstream media about the beef between Kanye West and Taylor Swift coming back up. And if you've followed my channel since 2015, I have made a number of videos on this beef and how it's connected to the royal family in England and also synced up to France and the 2015 Paris France attacks. I even have a whole playlist of this in regards to all of this, you know, Kanye West versus Taylor Swift foreshadowed the Paris attacks. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because on March 25th, then we got the story that Prince Charles now has coronavirus. And it really comes as no surprise because I've been talking about how the word Corona means crown and how it was synced up to Kobe Bryant. And if you go to my channel, I have a whole bunch of, you know, videos and whatnot, you can find, you know, I just made this video talking about the coronavirus synced up to France, and I talked about the importance of Kobe Bryant in this video, I believe. So, you know, Kobe was buried in Corona Del Mar, and Corona Del Mar in this language of Gematria, Corona Del Mar equals 56, and coronavirus coronavirus also equals 56 so does toilet paper toilet paper equals 56 so does royal family so i knew that it was important especially since corona mean crown i knew eventually there would be something in connection to all of this and then now here it is march 25th prince charles gets the coronavirus and the kobe bryant stuff really does stem back way way back to when China Thomas, the NBA player, died, who was, or China Thomas is the, the sister of Isaiah Thomas, the NBA player, and she died at the age of 22 in King County, Washington. The word King equals 22. He wore number 22 when he came into the league playing for the Sacramento Kings. And I also talked about that's why DeMarcus Cousins, it was important that he had went to the Los Angeles Lakers this year and got injured and why Dwight Howard came back, and so on. I'm not going to re-explain it all, but DeMarcus Cousins was also a former Sacramento King. That's why Luke Walton left the Los Angeles Lakers to become the coach of the Sacramento Kings. That's why the Lakers have LeBron King James, who used to play for the Cavaliers, who, in history, a Cavalier is a follower of King Charles during the English Civil War. And if Prince Charles ends up becoming the king, he would be King Charles III. Right, So there's all of this king symbolism. Even Kobe Bryant was synced up to the Royal Rumble. He died on the same day as the Royal Rumble. And if you recall, just before the crown jewel in WWE, there was the helicopter crash of the, I can't remember what team it is, the soccer coach. You know, a helicopter crash. Kobe dies in the helicopter. And Shane McMahon was also in the crown jewel that was in Saudi Arabia. And Shane McMahon was also in a helicopter crash. And earlier in the year, we had the greatest Royal Rumble and a bunch of other stuff. You know, it was the King Power soccer team. That's what it was, right? All of this King symbolism, King and Royal. Just before they announced Prince Charles had the coronavirus, we had the owner of the, what is it called? I can't think of what the team's called. The Royal or the Real Madrid soccer team died. And the word Real means Royal, right? And then Prince Charles gets the coronavirus. It's no surprise. It's all synced up to this king symbolism. And if you go back to last year, I was talking all about how NASCAR and Dale Earnhardt's mother dying and also him doing a tribute on August 31st, or he was doing a tribute race to his father. He was going to drive his father's mayonnaise car, Hellman's mayonnaise car, and so on. And I mentioned how all of that was important to Princess Diana, who was the former wife of Prince Charles. She died on August 31st, and she died in France. And she also had died with a guy named Dottie Fayed, who was the cousin of Jamal Khashoggi, or however you pronounce his name. The guy who had died just before the crown jewel in Saudi Arabia. And then we had the girls who were the Saudi Arabian girls that same month who were supposedly found dead in the Hudson. And then George H.W. Bush died, and they told us the big story about his dog being named Sully, reminding us of the guy who crashed in the Hudson. 
right? And then you got Tom Hanks who played the Sully, right? Tom Hanks who played Sully in the movie Sully. And Tom Hanks is in Sleepless in Seattle. And Tom Hanks was one of the first actors they announced that had the coronavirus. Tom Hanks even, you know, typed up a bunch of stuff on his corona typewriter while he's in quarantine. And I have a whole video on this as well. So I'm just bringing all of this up. That is really important. August 31st, I knew that it was important to France and Princess Diana. And, you know, the owner of NASCAR, or the founder of NASCAR, his name was Bill France, right? And I was following this theme with France all year in connection to the date of August 31st. I even said, I thought, I think that a racer or someone in NASCAR is going to die. And on this day, the French racer named Antoine Hubert just so happened to die. Let me pull it up here really quick. Antoine Hubert. So this guy dies on the, the 22nd anniversary of Princess Diana dying in France. And look at the word king. The word king equals 22. And it's interesting that this year it's going to be the 23rd anniversary and the word king also equals 23. But this guy died all synced up to France. And recall last year, Dale Earnhardt Jr. also supposedly got into a helicopter, or a, a plane crash at Elizabethton Airport, right? Elizabethton, think about the royal family, Queen Elizabeth. He did that on August 15th which just so happens to be the day that Napoleon was born in history, right? The French emperor, Napoleon. So, and this is also the day that Donald Trump said he was Batman in a helicopter at the Iowa State Fair when he was running for president. And it's also the day that Ben Affleck was born. And then Ben Affleck was, the later that year in 2016, was in Batman vs. Superman. He was Batman. And the guy who plays Superman, he just happened to be born on 5-5 which is the day that the French Revolution began in history. And it's also the day that Napoleon died in history. And in that movie, I just found this out today thanks to, I'll bring it up here later, but it was Wendy Allen in my comments on the blog here. But it was just, I never, I don't know that much about superhero stuff because I really don't watch it. But in that movie, that's when Wonder Woman made her de debut. And Wonder Woman's civilian name is Diana Prince. And she's, a, she's also known as Princess Diana of some island, right? Princess Diana. And just think about how all of that is related here. But this guy, Antoine Hubert, the French racer, dies on the day I, I say that I think something connected to France and racing is going to happen. And then he dies on the... He died age 22, and the guy who hit him, it was 22 days after his birthday. And he died 22 days before the anniversary of the French Republic on 227. It was the 22nd anniversary of Princess Diana dying. And a big thing with France is the number 227. Right now, we're in the 227th year of the French Republic. And if you write out French Revolution, it equals 227. So French monarchy equals 227. The French Revolution began because of an assembly by the Estates General that equals 227. Napoleon was born on the 227th day of the year. In 2016, we got the 200 and we got the Nice Fran van attack that was on the 227th anniversary of Bastille Day. And I'm bringing all this up because Prince Philip, who is the father of Prince Charles, let me see if I can pull it up here. Prince Philip. He was in a car accident earlier last year in January. Let's see what day it was. He was in a car accident 227 days before the French racer died on Princess Diana's anniversary of dying in France in a car wreck, right? And Prince Philip was in this car wreck. And the reason it's so interesting is because Prince Philip, if you look up Prince Philip, you could actually find a quote by Prince Philip in this book. It was in the foreword of the book, If I Were an Animal. And he literally says, I must confess that I am tempted to ask for reincarnation as a particularly deadly virus. So he, you know, in this book, he even mentions how 
He wants to be reincarnated as a deadly virus. And then we get the coronavirus that's going on. And he's talking about how, you know, one of the biggest problems in the world is overpopulation. So <laughs> it's super interesting. So let me go back to this post about Prince Charles. And I want to explain a few more things of how it's all synced up. Then I'm going to explain the Kanye West stuff and the story about Kanye West. And, you know. The Kanye West story was on the 80th day of the year, and if you read out King Charles III, it equals 80. And it's really important to the Illuminati in France and Freemasonry and the Jesuits. You know, the Jesuits and Freemasonry, both founded in France. And anyway, while, while we're looking at it, look at this. King Charles III equals 244 in Gematria. And this year will be the 244th anniversary of the Illuminati being founded. It's also the 244th year of the United States. And Princess Diana died on August 31st. And since this year is a leap year, that means that this year, August 31st, will be the 244th day of the year. Is that not interesting, you know? 244th day of the, in the 244th year of the United States. and King Charles III just so happens to equal 244. If you read out Kanye West, oh, if I could type it here, Kanye West, it's in these Francis Bacon ciphers that if you watch my previous videos, I explain more about them, but how they're important to think about France, France, Francis Bacon, Pope Francis is important to all of this too, but notice Kanye West equals 244. And recall in 2015 at the VMAs, Kanye West also said he was going to run for president in the year 2020. And there's more to that. So let's go back here. Let's look at all this stuff. You know, it's interesting too, before I even get into it, <laughs> the night before I noticed this, I wrote this blog post at like, it was on March 26th. Yeah, I wrote it like, Now, the night before, I wrote this blog post about Kanye West, and it was in the early hours of March 25th, right? And then I wake up to comments from Bobby talking about Prince Charles now has coronavirus, so I looked it up before I went to work, and of course, Prince Charles, it's breaking news that Prince Charles has it. And the night before, after I wrote this big blog post about Kanye West and Taylor Swift and I even mentioned how, remember how it synced up to the royal family and so on, and Queen Elizabeth. But I mostly talked about the Illuminati in that post. But the night before, after I made that post, I commented back to Zenith of the Alpha on one of my videos. And he even mentioned Princess Diana in the post or whatever. And he also talked about the movie The Stand. And The Stand is by Stephen King. The word Stephen means crown. Think about it, Stephen King. And I just pointed out that the stand equals 177, just like the word pandemic, just like the word virus. And if you followed me for a long time, I also have been, I followed this big stand by me, the movie Stand By Me. There's this humongous theme, and it was synced up to the Sutherland Springs church shooting and Kiefer Sutherland being in that movie. But it's just interesting, the stand and stand by me. Also another movie that is based off of the book by Stephen King called The Body. And I figured I'd try watching that movie. And I started watching the movie. And then I heard the word blackout. And I was like, what in the world? And I look, uh, I look at it and, you know, it says blackout or something like that. And what was interesting about that was in this Taylor Swift post. So I wrote this whole thing about Kanye and Taylor Swift. And at the very end of it, I said, I still think it, this is somehow connected to Paris Hilton and the Hotels.com commercial in 2015 that talked about the blackout dates. And if you remember, there was there was a Hotels.com commercial that everyone was talking about with the date of 923 and blackouts and so on. And they had the big picture of the Eiffel Tower on it. And then we got the Paris-France attacks. But Paris is known as the City of Light, right? And... Light is also important in Illuminati and Freemasonry and Sirius. And with all of this Batman stuff, Aurora, Illinois is also known as the City of Light. And Aurora, Illinois is where Wayne's World is set. And Wayne's World is famous for that. Made the song Bohemian Rhapsody even more famous for a lot of people. 
you know, I really didn't even know the song that much until Wayne's World and Bohemian Rhapsody, right? And that's from either band Queen. That's important to Kanye West that I will explain later. But just wanted to point out, I talked about blackout dates and whatever. And then I start watching the movie The Stand and literally just minutes into the movie, they're like, blackout, you know? So anyway, let's go back to this post about Prince Charles. I just like to share these synchronicity things because they're absolutely important. And half the time, it's how I figure out a lot of things. So... If you go from Prince Charles's birthday, also remember too, before I even get into it, remember that the Paris attacks in 2015 were on November 13th, but they came to an end after the police raided the Bataclan Theater and whatnot on November 14th, just after midnight. So on Prince Charles's birthday is when the Paris attacks came to an end. And anyway, go from his birthday to the day that he... They told us he had coronavirus. It's 132 days. And if you write out Princess Diana in Gematria, it equals 132. And Princess Diana just so happened to die 132 days after Queen Elizabeth's 71st birthday. And that's important because Prince Charles is currently 71 years old. Also, the word England equals 132. United States of America equals 132. Just the word Diana and these Francis Bacon ciphers equal 132. Think about how she died after Queen Elizabeth turned 71 years old, and now Prince Charles is 71 years old. Diana was born on 7-1. Her real name's Diana Spencer. That equals 71. Her birthday was 71 days after Queen Elizabeth's birthday. and. Diana's birthday was also seven months and 17 days after Prince Charles's birthday, like a lot like a 71 and a 17 pushed together. And what's interesting about that is after they got divorced, Prince Charles then married Princess Camilla, who was born on the date of 717. And Queen Elizabeth is in the House of Windsor. And when she dies, it will no longer be the House of Windsor. The House of Windsor was established on 717 of the year 1917, so 71717, you know, just not like how Pope Francis became the Pope on 31313. This is also important to Meghan Markle as well. I know that it is important to Meghan Markle because if you go from this date to Meghan Markle's birthday, it's 132 days. And think about how, you know, they just left the royal family on January 8th, I believe is when they announced it. So there's something to port to that, and I'll talk about that in a little while because I did mention it later, but I want to note that the word Catholic Church also equals 132. So does Roman Catholic. Pope Francis is important to all of this France stuff, and I talked all about that in my previous video, but Queen Elizabeth, he's the first Jesuit Pope, and Elizabeth became the queen 132 days after the Jesuit anniversary. And, you know... The Jesuits were also approved by Pope Paul III, and he was also the same Pope who fully excommunicated King Henry VIII, and that's where the Church of England supposedly began. So, you know, they want you to think there's this big rift and whatever else within the Catholic Church and within the Protestant Reformation, but really it's all controlled by the same thing. And it's even more important because the word Catholic equals 71. Just like the Pope's real name, Jorge Bergoglio. Just like if you read out Vatican City. And also, it's important to, because the Protestant Reformation, you know, it caused, caused a big rift, right? And you also had King James and the Gunpowder Plot, who the, the Catholics or whatever were supposedly trying to kill him and whatnot. And then King Charles, who was the son of King James, he just so happened to go and marry Henrietta Maria of France, and she was a Catholic, and it caused a big controversy because a lot of people didn't like her because she was a Catholic. You also have Maryland that was named after her, and Maryland is where the Catholic colony in the United States was. And that's even more important because we're always told Christopher Columbus discovered America, even though there's already people here. It doesn't make any sense. But... uh the, the Catholic colony was established by a guy named Cecil Calvert, C.C. Think about Christopher Columbus, C.C. 
Think about how he was financed by the Catholic Church. But he was actually sent by Isabella of Castile, who was the mother of King Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon, right? And the one that he couldn't have children with, right? Then he wanted to get a divorce, and then the Pope wouldn't, wouldn't allow it. And then, you know, there was other things leading up to it, but then that's when England started the English Reformation and so on, right? But, you know, it's just important to America. King Henry VIII's first wife was the daughter of the, the lady who financed Christopher Columbus. They were all Catholic, CC, Catholic Church, and so on. I also, wanted, I also pointed out that Queen Elizabeth became queen on the date of 26. You know, she was born in the year 26. The word queen equals 26 and 62, how the state can be written. She was coronated on the date of 62, and so on, right? Queen 26. But this is the day that the founder of the Illuminati, Adam Weishaupt, was also born. So it's an important day, right? Also, King Charles II, he died on this day. So, which means that King James II became the king on that day, right? So, think about if Prince Charles becomes the next king. Or possibly he'll die from coronavirus. I don't think so. I don't think it's synced up to that. Also, look at this. So. If you go to Princess Diana's death day again, from if you go to her death day from the day they announced this coronavirus, it's five months and six days. Remember how royal family equals 56? How coronavirus equals 56? How toilet paper equals 56? And it'll be the 23rd anniversary. The word king equals 23. Super important day to the Illuminati in the United States and the number 244. That's why Kanye West is also important. The story also in regards to, to France and Princess Diana. Princess Diana died at the age of 36 in Paris. And Paris just so happens to equal 36 in Gematria. And this story came three months and six days before what would have been Princess Diana's birthday. Paris also equals 27 and the story came 27 days before Queen Elizabeth's birthday, which is also an, an important day. Queen Elizabeth's birthday is 421. It's the same day that Prince, the singer, died, right? And he has a song called I Would Die For You. And he uses the letter U, which is the 21st letter, 421. Then he dies on 421 on Queen Elizabeth's birthday. But I'm bringing that up because Rome was supposedly founded on the date of 421 as well. The day that they announced his coronavirus, it was also the sixth month and third day of the French Republic, the 227th year of the French Republic, and Paris also equals 63. So, I wonder too, there's something that's synced up to, NASCAR is really important to this year, you know. I, I talked about how Jimmy Johnson, the racer, he announced his retirement two months and 27 days before the original date of the Daytona 500 on the 48th day of the year. And the 49th prime number is 227. This year is the began the 49th Modern Era Cup, and the cup began in the year 49, and it was synced up to Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s crash on the 49th day of the year when he was 49 years old. And he crashed it. The guy who won the race was Michael Wall Trip, right? And then this year at the Daytona 500, we had Ryan Newman getting the, the major wreck. Ryan Newman's nickname was Rocket Man, and this was just after Elton John had to call off his concert for having pneumonia, which is kind of interesting in regards to all the coronavirus stuff. And Elton John has the movie called Rocket Man and the song called Rocket Man. And Elton John was also a good friend of Princess Diana. But if you go back to my videos from 2014, I talked a lot about the number 811 and the racer Joey Logano. How two out of the three times that he was sponsored by Call 811, the company you have before you dig, right? 811. Two out of them three races he won that year. And then later on, I talked about how it was synced up to American Pharaoh, who was the horse who won the Triple Crown. And he was also sponsored by Call 811. And all of that was synced up to the royal family and Queen Elizabeth and Princess Charlotte being born on the date of 5-2, which was the day that the Kentucky Derby was. 
And also think about Prince Harry's son named Archie, who was born on 5-6, right? 56. And this is huge data I've been talking about with this year. And coronavirus and Paris, France equals 56 and ISIS equals 56. But uh, Joey Logano is actually leading in points right now as NASCAR was suspended and whatnot. Joey Logano was the guy who's leading. His nickname is also Sliced Bread. And if you go back to some of the videos I made, I talked about the movie Talladega Nights was important, and I think that movie came out on the date of August 4th, which is Meghan Markle's birthday, and some other things. And he drives the Wonder Bread car, and he has a beef with the French racer. So just interesting with Joey Logano leading. I know there's something really synced up to NASCAR with the royal family stuff here. Also in regards to the royal family, they announced this coronavirus two months and 27 days before Prince William's birthday. You know, 227. If he becomes the king, he'll be King William V, which equals 142. Just like coronavirus equals 142. If you just write William V, it equals 38, and he'll be 38 years old this year. His birthday is also really interesting to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Now it syncs up because it's 21 slash 6, a lot like 216, and Meghan Markle's birthday is on the 216th day of the year, and Meghan Markle equals 216, and a number of other things here. Also, I've also talked a lot about the Batman stuff, right? And when after Princess Diana died, in the media, George Clooney was publicly lamb-blasted by a bunch of tabloids, right, for the, I don't even remember what it says here, several tabloids of paparazzi, whatever. All I know is that it talks about George Clooney here, right? George Clooney was in the news all about Princess Diana's death, right? George Clooney was the Batman in Batman and Robin, and George Clooney also was born on the date of 5-6, also, to further prove my point, a long time ago when Prince died, Prince the Singer, I mentioned how there's a Simpsons episode that came out on 11 slash 2 and Prince died on the 112th day of the year, just before the 112th World Series that was, you know, that the that came to an end on 11 slash 2 or the final game began on 11 slash 2. And it was one year and 12 days after Back to the Future Day and then the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. But... There's a Simpsons episode where Homer, he kills George Clooney, Prince, and also Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the first guy to walk on the moon. The Batman shooting in Aurora, Colorado, that happened in 2013. And the next month, Neil Armstrong died. And, you know, the Batman shooting was on the anniversary of Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. It was on the date of 720. And I just pointed out. In that, in my post about that, I pointed out how they made a joke about Rip Taylor, and it didn't seem to make much sense. They said, Rip Taylor, you d is he even dead? And look at this, Rip Taylor, Rip Taylor, and think about his name, R.I.P. and whatever else. Rip Taylor just so happened to die on October 6th last year, two days after the movie Joker came out, right? And that movie Joker was all synced up to China. And the Batman shooting in 2013 that had the preview of the James Bond movie called Skyfall. And they showed the building that said Aurora. And that was on the building in China called the Aurora Plaza. And that's why South Park did the Band in China episode and talked shit on China. And before that, they had the episode called Mexican Joker. And then just after that, they had the episode about vaccines, right? Interesting. Coronavirus vaccines. Cartman turned into a pig. Well, it was a Chinese pig year. So I've just been paying a lot of attention to George Clooney as there's a huge Batman narrative that is synced up to all of this. And once again, think about how Batman versus Superman, the actors in that movie are all synced up to France and Napoleon. Okay. So let me go back and explain about Kanye West and why Kanye West is important to Paris and why it's important to Queen Elizabeth. And then I'll, and then I'll talk about this story here with 
why we got the story with Kanye West and Taylor Swift and the beef coming back up. We also had a story about Kanye West in 2018 in December, just after the Yellow Vest movement in France. And I talked about how it was important to the Illuminati and Drake and Kanye West. And he said Drake wanted to kill him and whatever, or was threatening his life. And I didn't realize that was on Taylor Swift's birthday, which this year, Taylor Swift's birthday just so happened to be on Friday the 13th or her last birthday in 2019 in December. It was on Friday the 13th. And that's interesting because the Paris attacks in 2015 were on Friday the 13th. And then when Trump announced that or declared a national emergency of coronavirus, it just so happened to be on Friday the 13th, which is Pope Francis's anniversary of being the Pope as well, 313 of this year. And Friday the 13th in history is important to when the Knights Templar got wiped out by the king in France. And, you know, think about the Knights Templar, the Illuminati, and so on. Also, what did I write in here about? Just wanted to point it out really quick. Freemasonry was established in France, which is interesting if you write out what the full name of Freemasonry, ancient and accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry, it's 244. Think about how this year is going to be the 244th year of the Illuminati in the United States. And Princess Diana's anniversary is on the 244th day of the year. And King Charles III equals 244. And uh, King James, right? The father of King Charles was a Scottish Rite Freemason, the guy who wrote the Bible, the Freemasonic Bible. If you leave out the and, ancient accepted Scottish, Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, which is also used without the and, it equals 227. Once again, the number important to France. Also, the guy who wiped out the Knights Templar, his name equals 56, like coronavirus. And then Francis Bacon, it equals 227. Also, the as I explained it here, but the Kanye West, Taylor Swift stuff was really synced up to the Freddie Gray thing that happened in 2015. Remember Freddie Gray? Supposedly got injured on 412 and then he died on the date of 419, which is also the day that the Civil War began and the day that the first death of the Civil War happened in Baltimore and Freddie Gray died in Baltimore. And, you know, his name was Freddie Gray. And just before Freddie Gray died, we had the book or the movie Fifty Shades of Gray came out in February. And this was interesting because in the Civil War, the Confederates wore different shades of gray because they couldn't afford to dye their uniforms. Fifty shades of gray, different shades of gray. It was also the year of the Gray Sports Almanac. They also killed off Dr. McDreamy on Gray's Anatomy. And I mentioned how he was in the movie Can't Buy Me Love and how that was important. And then his girlfriend in the movie, her name is Amanda Peterson in real life. She died that summer, you know? So it was absolutely synced up to everything that I was talking about, but the Freddy Gray stuff was synced up to Freddy Krueger in the movie Freddy's Dead, and also Freddy Mercury, because in, I think it was 1991, whatever year that Freddy Mercury died, they came out with that movie called Freddy's Dead on April 19th, and then on September 13th, they came out with a movie called, uh, or, sorry, let me backtrack. On April 19th, they came out with a movie called Drop Dead Fred, and then on September 13th, they came out with the movie Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, the Freddy Krueger movie. And then what happened in November? Freddy Mercury died, right? Drop Dead Fred, Freddy's Dead. Then, like, probably the most famous Fred that I can think of, you know, he dies that same year. It was all predictive programming. But notice that the movie Freddy vs. Jason, think about Friday the 13th and Freddy, it came out on Napoleon's birthday, the 227th day of the year. And remember, Freddy Krueger's played by a guy named Robert England. Robert England. Think about that, how it connects to, you know, the royal family, just England in general. So anyway, that Freddy Gray thing happened. And then in June, I was really looking at this date of 626. I kept saying, there's something really important to the date of 626 because YouTube gave me my first ever copyright strike on a video I put out on 919 where I talked about Ramona Quimby and Queen Elizabeth. And they gave me this copyright strike. I fixed the video. 
I put it back up. Then they didn't they didn't give me a copyright strike until 177 days later, and they gave me another one. And I thought, why did I get one 177 days later? You know, and I realized that the 177th day of the year just happened to be 626. And then I fixed the video, put it back up, and it was 262 days after the original date, after 919, I got another copyright strike. 262, 919 is the 262nd day. And, you know, think about the date of June 26, which can be written as 626, right? Or 266. And I was like, there's got to be something important to that day. And that day just so happened to be the day that Obama legalized gay marriage. And the very next day, Kanye West was singing. He went to Glastonbury. There was a big concert there. They had the big pyramid stage. And he wasn't supposed to be there, but Dave Grohl fell and broke his leg of the Foo Fighters. And then they had Kanye West go there and play. They even had a petition because lots of people didn't want Kanye West to go there. And... Anyway, Kanye West just so happened to sing the song Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, right? And I said, look at this, you know, Kanye West singing the Queen song and Freddie Mercury, he was gay, right? Died of AIDS. He had bad blood. Kanye West was also married to Kim Kardashian, who's the daughter of Bruce Jenner. And Bruce Jenner had just came out and said that he's going to become Caitlyn just before they legalized gay marriage, and I knew it was important. I had been following this theme with the queen, and so on. And I noticed that in Gematria, if you write out Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift equals 168. And if you write out Beyonce Knowles, Beyonce Knowles equals 168. And if you write out Queen Elizabeth II, it equals 168. And this was just after the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Think about how that connects to Prince Charles and so on. Had lost to the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. Later that year, the New York Mets lost in the World Series. They lost to the Royals, right? And what was even more interesting is that the New York Mets play in the town Queens. So there's much, much more to go along with this, but later that year, 2015, at the VMA Awards, the day of the VMA Awards, Wes Craven died. Wes Craven, the guy who directed or wrote the, the Freddy Krueger movies. You know, what are the odds of that? Freddy Gray, Freddy Krueger. Think about the VMAs. That's where Kanye West and Taylor Swift originally had the beef in 2009. And it was on the date of September 13th, which is also the same day that the movie Freddy's Dead came out. Leading up to that VMAs, we also had the the hurricanes and tropical storms named Fred and Erica. And if you looked up Freddie Gray, his sister, he had a twin sister named Fred Erica, right? So just before the VMAs, there was the, the storms called Fred and Erica, and his twin sister was named Fred Erica, and then Wes Craven dies. And Freddie Gray's birthday just so happened to be 16 slash 8, right? Reminding us of the Queen stuff. Plus Robert England synced up to the Queen. And... Anyway, what I pointed out was that this date, when the original VMAs happened on 13-9 in 2009, and once again, that's the same day Freddy's Dead came out, a lot like 139. And earlier in the year, Kanye West in 2015, he got up on stage and pretended like he was going to do the same thing again with Beck at the Grammys, and it was for Beck's album called Morning Phase. Morning Phase equals 139, and 139 days later, was the day that Kanye sang the Queen song at Glastonbury. At the 2015 VMA Awards, remember Taylor Swift announced, she announced Kanye West for the Video Vanguard Award, and they kind of dropped all of their beef. And she talked a lot about his album called College Dropout that equals 168. And, you know, she also won all of the awards, a ton of the awards there that night. And the next day, they called her the queen of the VMAs, you know. And she was also born in 1989, and the queen was 89 years old at the time. But I'm bringing this up because in her speech about Kanye West, she also said 
she was like a little kid and he was out studying the craft. And then she paused and then she started talking about and the arts or whatever. She's like studying the craft. And what she was talking about was Freemasonry, most likely. The craft, right? 139. And think about how Kanye West in, was also in a song called Niggas in Paris. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong there, probably. And actually, I just realized that it wasn't the Gematria, but look when the date it came out. It was on September 13th, 13 slash 9, 139. Think about Jay-Z, who's married to Beyonce, right? The beef was all about Beyonce had the best album of all time. Think about Jay-Z in regards to the Illuminati, you know? You know, even uh, the Beck thing, they zoomed in on Jay -Z, or Beyonce and Jay-Z and whatnot. Kanye West also at that VMA said that he was going to run for president in 2020 which is interesting considering this is 2020. But if he would have ran for president and became the president, then it would be 139 days after his birthday, you know? So he would have became the president 139 days before his birthday on January 20th, which is interesting. 120, that's the day that people become presidents and look at Illuminati equals 120. But anyway, if you went from... The day that he sang the Queen song, so it was 139 days after he went up on stage with Beck at the Grammys, right? And then it was for the album Morning Phase that equals 139. If you went to the Paris attacks, he did that 139 days before the Paris attacks. And he also, just before the Paris attacks, he had, I think it was just before the Paris attacks, or maybe it wasn't, but he had the clothing line from APC brand that all of the clothes looked like something that we had been perceived that ISIS would wear, right? So Kanye West had all the stuff with ISIS. ISIS clothing line, it was a French clothing line. Remember the next year, Kim Kardashian supposedly got robbed in France and she got robbed of $5.6 million. You know, Kanye equals 56. Paris, France equals 56. ISIS equals 56. Kim Kardashian equals 56. What are the odds? Their, their kid at the time was named Nori. Nori equaled 56. Remember how South Park had an episode just before the Paris attacks where they all dressed up like ninjas and everybody thought they were ISIS. And then we got the ISIS attack and South Park has the movie called, the creators of South Park have the movie called Team America that starts off with a, 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 Paris attack, a, a, an attack in Paris by terrorists, and then it skips over to the guy on Broadway singing Everyone Has AIDS, and Taylor Swift at the time, at the VMAs, had her hit song was called Bad Blood, think about AIDS, Bad Blood, think about Freddie Mercury, who also had Bad Blood, and then we had Charlie Sheen come out and say that he had HIV, and that was synced up to the Missouri Tigers hunger strike, because Charlie Sheen said he had Tiger's blood, and that was... All around the same time as the Paris attacks, Bad Blood, Charlie Sheen. Earlier in 2015, there was the Charlie Hebdo attacks. And I talked about how it was synced up to the royal family and Prince Charles, Charlie Charles. Also, there was the president of France that it was important to, Charles de Gaulle, or however you say his name. Kanye West was even important to South Park and so on with the Fish Dicks episode. But... Another interesting thing was the big thing at, at the Paris attacks was the Eagles of Death Metal concert getting shot up. And this is interesting because the guy, the lead singer of the Eagles of Death Metal, he's also part of the band called Queens of the Stone Age, which is a band that was, you know, got famous because of Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl broke his leg. That's the reason that Kanye West had to go to Glastonbury to perform the Queen song. Right? Queens of the Stone Age, they're both in. The Eagles of Death Metal got shot up in Paris. You know, and then just after that, we got the guy from the Eagles Die. And what else was interesting, too, is that uh, we had this last year in 2019. Taylor Swift, let me see here. Taylor Swift, me. Taylor Swift came out with this song called Me. Let me find it real quick.
I have to laugh here because <laughs> I find this post and look at the date it came out. Look, look at the day I wrote it. September 13th of 2019. Hilarious, you know? 13 slash 9. The only reason I even wrote the post was because I got this message from this person. Because I had no idea. I don't listen to Taylor Swift's music, you know? And this person told me about it, so I looked up the song on this date. And it really does. This song... I don't know, that's just hilarious. I whatever. Um anyway, I looked up the song and it begins with they're in France and they're speaking in French. And then it stem it it goes into these scenes where they're all floating around on umbrellas like Mary Poppins and whatnot. And if you went back in March, it was actually March twenty fifth, which is interesting. That's the same day that Prince Charles, we're now told, had coronavirus. But let me find it here. I had major synchronicity with Mary Poppins. I was at work. I wrote a different post on March 30th because, well, I'll explain here in a second. Let me find this other post here. So I was at work on March 25th. just want to point out, I'm going to prove it to you here. I wrote this on March 25th. But some lady had a lottery ticket and cashed it in and you're supposed to have them sign it, but I didn't have her sign it. Um, I just randomly wrote a, a fake name on there. I have no idea why I wrote Mary Poppins. I just wrote Mary Poppins for who knows why. I don't even know why. And the next person that came into the store where I work just so happened to be wearing a shirt that said, super califragilistic kiss my ass adocious. And I thought, what are the odds of that? You know, I write Mary Poppins and the next person that comes in is wearing a shirt. That's a play on Mary Poppins, and I talked about this big old thing with the Umbrella Man and so on. But then on March 30th, in the mainstream media, a headline story, if it will pull up here, it said, Strong winds, wind sends man soaring into the air like Mary Poppins. And I thought, what are the odds that I just documented about the synchronicity with Mary Poppins? And when I clicked on the article... It was from May 20, March 25th, the same day that I had synchronicity of, you know, it was the same day that I had the synchronicity with Mary Poppins. So interesting, they waited five days to put it in the mainstream media, but I knew that it was important, you know. So I even pointed out that, you know, France equals 73. France also equals 135, I'm pretty sure, in the, the Jewish ciphers. So, just like Mary Poppins. Anyway, let's go back and look at the the post about Taylor Swift and Kanye West that I was going to talk about like an hour ago. But I just want to get you up on up to speed on the reasoning of why this is all important. I mean, there's a lot to it, but that's why I document all of these things so I can find it again and find the specific date that these things happen and see how it all syncs up. And it's you know, it always syncs up, but this new beef that happened was that the video call where Kanye West had called and he made a new song where he said something about how he, I can't remember what it, what it was, something about how he's going to do Taylor Swift and make her famous or something, but that, that's really irrelevant. You know, just another story with Kanye West and Taylor Swift going on here, but that happened on March 20th, which just so happens to be the 80th day of the year. And it just so happened to be 80 days before Kanye West's birthday on the date of 6-8. And in Gematria, if you write out Bavarian Illuminati, it equals 80. Just like if you write out King Charles III, it equals 80. And this is interesting because Kanye West is synced up to the Illuminati. You know, Kanye West equals 120. Illuminati equals 120. Kanye West also equals 51, just like Taylor Swift equals 51. Just like how the Illuminati was founded on 5-1, just like how the founder of the Illuminati, Adam Weishaupt, equals 51. Also notice the beef with Beyonce. I think about Jay-Z, the Rockefeller, right? The Triangle stuff. All kinds of stuff with Jay-Z. Jay-Z's a Freemason. Beyonce even talks about the Illuminati and does, you know... Beyonce is all synced up to it. Remember the Black Panther tribute at the Super Bowl with the Carolina Black Panthers and much, much more, you know. But Beyonce equals 120 in Gematria, just like Kanye West. 
just like Illuminati, just like how Aubrey Graham, Drake's real name equals 120, just like how Drake equals 120 and the English extended cipher. Beyonce, also interesting, equals 239 and Francis Bacon, just like Paris, France, just like Illuminati, just like Society of Jesus that was founded in France. If you go from Kanye's birthday to Paris or to Taylor Swift's birthday, it's a span of 188 days, which is interesting because if you write out Bavarian Illuminati, it also equals 188. And if you put a the in front of it, it equals 221, just like Taylor Swift's full name. And I'm telling you, I know all of this is important because, like I said, right after the, the Yellow Vest movement stuff and just before a person reached out, me, out to me and wanted to do an interview and so on, and then I ended up not doing the interview, but I looked at their videos and they were all talking about Napoleon and whatever, and then I researched about France and I discovered the, all the stuff with the number 227 at that time. But anyway, look, there's the story about how Kanye West was saying that Drake was threatening him, and basically, you know, they talked about... Uh, the rapper 6 9 and whatever, and the Illuminati, and, oh, what's the other guy's name? XXX Tentacion, and he said he was trying to get, be a, Drake was trying to sacrifice him, and they were, they were making it all about the Illuminati, right? So Kanye West was saying in the media that Drake was threatening him, you know, so if he dies or anything happens, then they know, basically, and... You know, Kanye's just all part of this group anyway. But the story came 51 days or also one month and 20 days after Drake's birthday. And remember, the Illuminati established on 5-1. Illuminati equals 120. I said all these before. And I can't remember. Oh, the reason it's important is because, and I never put this together, but it was on December 13th, which is Taylor Swift's birthday. So I know that they did all of this for a reason, right? And then later Taylor Swift makes the video called Me, where they speak in France or in French, and then they have the umbrella stuff. So it's definitely synced up to what I'm talking about here. And then, you know, Taylor Swift's last birthday was on Friday the thirteenth, that I talked about earlier in the video. Friday the 13th is important to the Knights Templar in France. A little bit off topic here, but something interesting I noticed. Like, a really long time ago, I don't remember how I discovered this, but I found out that Martin Luther, the guy who basically started the Protestant Reformation, right? And it was all synced up to the, you know, the formation of the Jesuits and so on. <laughs> I found out that his birth, or the day that he was born was the same day as my birthday, November 10th. And, you know, Martin Luther, and he had the 95 Theses, and, you know, the Jesuits were founded on the day leaving 95 days in the year. And it's just interesting that my name equals 95, and my full name equals 95. And I was born exactly 499 years after Martin Luther. And the 95th prime number is 499. So, I don't know. It's very interesting, you know. I've always had that, like a, I don't know, it's weird. I've always, I'm telling you, I learned this a long time ago. I used to tell people that, like, oh yeah, I was born on the same day as Martin Luther. And, you know, I, I grew up Catholic. And I think part of the reason why was just because I was looking for other answers and other things. And I thought that was interesting in regards to, you know, the Lutheran church and Martin Lutheran and so on, right? Yes, I always knew that the Catholic religion was bullshit. And, you know, for a number of reasons. I remember going to my, my Catholic, what is called CCD. You had to go learn about, you know, Catholic youth church or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. Catholic something. They call it REP now, Re Religious Education Program. Can't remember what it was. It's was called CCD a long time ago. But I remember when I was a kid, I asked my teacher. I said, "You know how how come we how do we know that the Catholic religion is the right religion, and you know how do we know that Muslims aren't correct, or how do we know that you know 
the Methodist church and the Lutheran church and all these other religions aren't the true one. And my teacher told me, it just is. We just are. We're the best <laughs> and we just are. And then she went on and she acted like she's mad at me. And I was like, that seems like a pretty legit question, you know? And man, I'm telling you from that time on, I pretty much knew that it, it made no sense. And then, then you read the Bible and that makes even, makes it even more confusing, you know, like it's either missing stuff or, you know, like Cain was banished to the land of Nod and somehow there were people there, but, and he was, you know, he was scared they were going to kill him, but yet there was only like four people on the earth at the time. So, I mean, I mean, just countless examples of things that don't make sense. And then people try to explain them to you in a bullshit way, just because they want it to, to fit to their religion. But moving on, let's look at this Princess Diana and Prince Philip connection and the Meghan Markle connection and so on. So I told you how Wendy Allen sent me these messages this morning and it just blew my mind. You know, Princess Diana is the name of Wonder Woman. And literally, I just watched the movie Batman vs. Superman a few weeks back because I've been following this Batman thing synced up to France and how it was all important to France. So. I figured I would look up Wonder Woman, the girl who played Wonder Woman, and it just so happens to be this girl, Gal Gadot, or however you say her name, and notice right away, she was crowned Miss Israel in 2004. So literally, she's also a beauty queen, right? The royal theme queen, Miss Israel. Israel's really important to all of this as well, right? The third temple and... So on, Zion, Williamson, death of Kobe Bryant. But her name equals 132 in Francis Bacon, just like Princess Diana. The word Diana equals 132 in Francis Bacon. Her name also equals 201 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. And that's a huge number that's important to event 201 that Bill Gates had. And it's all synced up to the date of 5-6. It was 201 days before the date of 5-6. See the previous video. She was also born on the 120th day of the year, right? Illuminati equals 120. I figured I'd look up the importance of France within that date as well. And when I looked it up, it's the day that Louisiana became a state. Louisiana equals 201 in Francis Bacon. Louisiana is important to France yet again, you know, think about it. The new France and whatever else. And... It's also the day that the Louisiana Purchase was signed. It didn't actually go through until July 4th, or they announced it on July 4th, and they didn't get the papers until July 14th, which is the anniversary of Bastille Day, right? But 4.30, a date important to France, the same day that Wonder Woman was born. And today we got the story about how the death rate soars in New Orleans, and it's coronavirus is going to be a disaster there because of a bunch of people that had went there. And I thought that was interesting as well because Zach had talked about how he was sick for a long time back in, what, December? Before he went to New Orleans, right? And he's from Seattle where the first case of the U.S. is supposedly from. That's where Bill Gates is from. So I just find that pretty interesting. And he stayed in room 201 and, you know synchronicity but let's go back up here the the plot of this movie the new movie called wonder woman that came out in 2017 it uh just so happens to open up in paris france right <laughs> so craziness in present day paris so it starts out in paris then it, it also involves world war one which is also important to the spanish flu right it's being important to the Spanish flu. She's also an Amazonian, which just makes me think of Seattle again. The Amazon was burning not too long ago. Then Jeff Bezos got a divorce and the first case in Seattle. Diana's also the goddess of the moon in mythology. And remember the Batman shooting was on the moon landing anniversary. Just before Neil Armstrong died, the first guy to walk on the moon, Apollo equals 201. Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201. 720 is the 201st day of the year. Buzz Aldrin born on 20 slash 1. He's the second guy to walk on the moon with Neil Armstrong when the eagle landed on the moon. 
Also, Wonder Woman equals 55. W is the fifth letter, too. Or W breaks down to 5, so 55. 5-5 five, five is the day that Napoleon died. It's also the day of the French Republic. Her French Revolution began. It's also Cinco de Mayo, and Cinco de Mayo is the celebration of, oh, what is it, the Battle of Puebla, when the Mexicans beat the French Empire in the Battle of Puebla. Just after the movie Batman vs. Superman, this lady was in a movie called Criminal, and her name was Jill Pope. thought that was interesting. Jill Pope. Also, I was writing this post up. I'm not going to lie. My, my, both my sons were sleeping, and I, they started crying, and I went up and got them, and I came downstairs and sat on the couch, and I looked up at the TV, and this was on there. George Clooney's Batmobile. It was Teen Titans Go!, I can't remember what episode, but it's just interesting. You know, you know. This, I guess the show's connected to Batman. I don't even know why it was turned on, though. Nobody's home. And it's more interesting that it was George Clooney Batman, of all Batmans. Also, the current Constitution of France was adopted on October 4th, which just so happened to be the day that the movie Joker came out, that movie that's really important to the Batman symbolism. So... I don't know what the, the full meaning with that Batman stuff is, but it's absolutely synced up to France, and maybe that's the whole point of it. It's synced up to China, it's synced up to France. So then I showed earlier the, the connection to Prince Philip being in the car wreck 227 days before the anniversary of Princess Diana dying, and also the same day that the, the racer, the French racer Antoine Hubert had died. And then Prince Philip said that, you know, he wanted to be reincarnated as a, a deadly virus, right, to stop overpopulation. If you go from the day that Prince Charles got coronavirus to Prince Philip's birthday, it's two months and 16 days. And that number just sticks out a lot to me in regards to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who just announced that they're going to leave the royal family and so on this year. Meghan Markle equals 216. Her birthday's on the 216th day of the year. She's known as the American Royal that equals 216. Prince Henry of Wales, that is the title of Prince Harry. That equals 216, Prince William, born on 21 slash 6. We also got a story today about how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left Canada, and now they're settled in Los Angeles, while in Francis Bacon, Los Angeles equals 216. They got married two months and 16 days before Meghan Markle's birthday on 8-4. She's also related to Harry through Queen Elizabeth's mother, Elizabeth Bowes, who was born on 8-4. They got married eight months and four days before Prince Harry's birthday. If you write out 216, it equals 84. Harry was born in 84. Princess Diana equals 84. Queen Elizabeth II equals 84. Meghan, Dush Duchess of Sussex equals 84. Also, Princess Diana dying at the age of 36 in Paris. Paris equals 36 is important because the 36 triangular number, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to 36, it equals 666. And if you take 6 times 6 times 6, it equals 216, right? And remember, too, when they got married, I was following this big Stand By Me theme, right? That's why the movie The Stand is important to Stephen King. But the song Stand By Me is written by the guy named Ben E. King, right? The word Stefan means crown. Stand By Me was played at their wedding. Also, in regards to Kanye West, Remember earlier this year he wanted to change his name to Christian Genius Billionaire Kanye West? That equals 216. And that was right around the same time that we had the Tom Steyer guy announced he was going to run for president on the same day that um, Ross Perot had died or whatever. And I talked about Ross Perot last year before he died. Ross Perot, the, the billionaire running for president. Then Tom Steyer runs for president, you know. Think about Bill Gates in Seattle. Kanye West's birthday is on the date of 6-8. And I believe Seattle equals 68. Let me put it out here. Seattle. Or Seattle, Washington equals 68. Which is interesting, too, because 6-8 is the day that leaves 206 days in the year, and Seattle's in the 206 area code. There's also some interesting things with Queen Victoria, who 
Queen Elizabeth surpassed Queen Victoria for the longest reigning British English monarch of all time back in 2015 as well on the date of 9-9, which is interesting because the date of 9-22 and 9-9, 9-22 on the Gregorian is 9-9 on the Julian, and 9-22 is the anniversary of the French Republic. It's the day that Pope Francis visited America, arrived in America in 2015. It was synced up to the France attacks that I talked about in the previous video. But, but Elizabeth was born 9,220 days after Victoria died, which is interesting, 922. Victoria surpassed King George III as longest monarch on the date of 922, which is also the day that he was coronated, right? So it is important to France. And a long time ago, I even pointed out how Kanye West equals 1551 in Jewish. And Queen Elizabeth became the queen 51 years and 15 days after Victoria died. 1551. Pope Francis turned 15 years old in the year 51. Donald Trump is exactly 15 years, 51 days older than Obama. And Obama's birthday is the same day as Meghan Markle's birthday, August 4th, the 216th day of the year. Queen Victoria also equals 244 in Francis Bacon, right? Think about how that's important to Princess Diana in the United States, the Illuminati, King Charles III. Also, Prince Philip, he's 1,776 days older than his wife, Queen Elizabeth. Think about 1776 in regards to the United States and the Illuminati. Queen Victoria also ruled for 63 years. Charles got coronavirus 63 days after the anniversary of her death. Prince Philip equals 63. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are both synced up to the number 63 as well. Let's type it out really quick. Prince Harry equals 63. I believe Meghan Markle. Well, Prince Harry equals the same as France and Jewish too, 135. But Meghan Markle equals 63. Prince Harry equals 63. Oh man, there's a... Let me pull it up. I can't even remember it all. There's just countless things. Meghan Markle equals 63. I can't even remember. Maybe it was just them equaling 63, but it was synced up to, uh, I'll have to go back and look, but I know that it was important to 63, and every time Donald Trump made fun of Elizabeth Warren for being Pocahontas, it was, there was always a story in the news about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as well, you know, and, you know, Navajo 63, Pocahontas joke, racist comment, Senator Warren, Native American equals 63. The last time that happened, there's a, you know, it was on a date named Aralogy of 63. They also announced their baby, like, the same day that Prince, I can't remember it. Was it the same day that, the same day that Kanye West went to the White House or something and Donald Trump made fun of, I'll have to look, look at it again, but I know I have a video on it somewhere, the one about in 2018 in October when Kanye West went to the White House, and I talked all about the number 63 and how it synced up to Elizabeth Warren and whatever, Prince Harry. So then I also wrote, I wrote that, oh, when I wrote she ruled for 63 years, I heard the TV say the word ruled. So I went up and looked at it, and it was... The Amazing World of Gumball, or The Odd World, or I don't know, I don't know what the show's called, but uh, it was this episode called The News, and it came out on my birthday, which is interesting. I'm not sure what that is, but that's Prince Harry's birthday, but anyway, they talked about this kid named Stephen, and remember, Stephen means crown, and I can't remember what it was. I just listened to it earlier today, but... It was something about these diamonds were ruling the universe and the pink diamond had left and then he was like the descendant of the pink diamond. 
And if you followed my channel forever, I've talked a whole lot about the, the color pink and how it's important to, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So it just stuck out to me. Steven means crown, the color pink, pink diamonds, you know, the princess diamond ship that Zenith of the Alpha was talking about uh, a couple nights ago before Prince Charles announced his whatever. His coronavirus and is all synced up to Princess Diana, and he talked about Princess Diana. But, you know, I'll leave some links in the description. Hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. It's kind of a follow-up video of, you know, thousands of videos I've made over the years talking about the same theme going on. Now coronavirus is real big with the king symbolism. Even the, uh, the drummer who was in the band King Crimson and also in the band R.E.M. at one point. Or he, he worked with the band R.E.M. He just recently died, right? And, of course, he died 189 days after his birthday. And his name equals 189. He's born in Seattle where the coronavirus began in the United States. R.E.M. has a song called It's the End of the World, right? My band even covers that song. It's funny. And oddly enough, my band, in the newest song that we learned was the song No One Knows or whatever it is by Queens of the Stone Age. So, it's hilarious. But um, we'll leave it there. Have a good one. Peace.